okay so welcome back to this course so now we have installed our node one also now let's create our first route in this api on the back end all right now if you have taken my previous course of apis then i have my i have created two folders one is called controller and one is called routes so in the controller i have my controller functions and i will in which i will write all the route logic then i have a route folder in which i will handle all the routes all right so let me show you how it works so in my backend, I'm going to create a new folder that is called controllers. So controllers, and then also I will create a new folder also in backend that is called routes. All right. So first of all, in the controllers, I'm going to create a new file that is called product controllers or product controller .js. Now this will handle all the product related logics or functions controller functions right so press enter then first of all let's type here our dummy uh, route uh, controller function so we type here export dot like i simply type here get products equals to i'll simply type here request response and next that is exports right and then this is going to be arrow function in which i simply type here res dot status 200 and dot json i will simply pass here success to true and then also type here like message this route will show all products in database all right, so now I'm starting from very, very basic. If you know all these basic things, you can definitely move on. But I have to take care of all type of students that even don't know basics of Node.js. All right, so I hope that you understand. So after adding this controller function here, I will simply press Control S, go back to my uh, route folder and create a new file that is called product.js. So in this file, first of all, I have to import the express equals to require express and then i will simply type here cons router equals to express dot router and after that i will simply import that function that is const and we have to import it from require or slash controllers slash product controller that function is like get products all right so now we have imported this function from there now simply let's type here router dot route and i have to type here the url on which i have to basically route so we type here slash products and dot now i have to send the get request so we type here dot get because i want to get all the products so get in that as well type here get products simple as that and also i have to module dot export from here the router all right simply save it and now if i go back to my app.js we simply have to import all the routes so simply type here import all routes so let me type here control products equals to require and that is dot slash routes slash product and then we have to use it so let me type here app dot use now this is the version one of this api so let me type here slash api slash v1 and then we have to type here the products simple as that so that url will be slash api slash v1 and then this uh, slash products all right and also i have to type here app dot use i have to also use the express dot json like this all right so i hope that it will work so i simply press ctrl s and in my terminal i simply type here npm run 
dev. So started in development mode, I simply go to my postman. Now after installing the postman, you have to do nothing. So simply click on this plus. In my next video, I will show you that how we can set up this postman uh, for the development. All right. So we have to select here from the method, which is get request, then the URL. I simply type here HTTP local slash slash localhost port 4000 slash API slash v1 slash products like this and if I click on send from here you will see that success true then a message that is this star will show all the products in the database right so now we have successfully written our first route and uh, which is basically simply give us message that is uh, this route will show all the products in database simple as that and definitely we will add the functionality of the products in our later videos but in my next video i want to basically set up the postman before moving on right so if you already know how to set up postman or you have already set up the postman like we have set up in our previous courses you can definitely move on and skip that video but in my next video i will show that also right so i will see you in the next video